Okay, can you hear me and uh, see the screen? Okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, it's my great honor to be here to give this talk and thanks to the organizer of the user uh, meeting 2021 of ESIF. And I am very glad to be here to join uh, the ESIF team from uh, last November, as Francesco already said. And uh, it's a really fantastic new machine in the uh, synchronization uh, community. So I hope in the following years, I can do my best to serve this uh, uh, great machine and uh, to uh, to provide the excellent uh, beams and the light uh, and the lights to the uh, users of ESIF. So uh, my talk will cover the EDS storing commissioning, USM uh, operation plans for the coming future, and uh, a short conclusion. Uh, the EDS storing commissioning. Uh, started from the uh, uh, actually from the end of 2019 and then the beginning of last year and uh, then uh, we have a very serious uh, uh, crisis of the COVID-19 and uh, the ESF have, has had to be uh, in the lockdown and uh, then uh, but uh, in, in keeping the whole site uh, for the a safe working condition for all the staff during this uh, pan, uh, pandemic confinement. We finally finished all the uh, installation and the commissioning for the EBS. And finally, we started the, uh, uh, the USM service on 25th August as planned uh, with as many beam lines as possible. So we just realized that this date of uh, 25th August uh, 2020 uh, was already fixed at the third MAC meeting of ESF. That's uh, about uh, four years ago, uh, nearly five years ago. So we are exactly on time, on schedule to finish all the EBS uh, project. And during the shutdown of last year, we finished the some other inst installations like the uh, the bending magnet beam lines and uh, uh, the ceramic chambers, the cryogenic in vacuum devices, and also we have done some uh, corrective actions required during the commissioning, uh, like the re replacement of ceramic vacuum chamber, uh, which uh, caused by some uh, heating problems of the of the of the kicker and uh, then the, of course uh, another replacement of ID 500, 5,000 vacuum chambers and also the reactivation of uh, neck layers on uh, this ID 5,000 vacuum chambers. And also we did some curative maintenance uh, in different shutdowns for temporary repair of air leak on the IF coupler, uh, which was uh, replaced uh, uh, in last uh, uh, intervention and the uh, closure of the uh, Christmas. And then we repair, repair the uh, ID15 cryogenic in vacuum modulator and also other three watt leaks on the cooling circuits of magnets. So that's uh, for the shutdowns in uh, last year. For the accelerator commissioning, uh, as I just mentioned, we started at the beginning of uh, last year and we, uh, we uh, experience uh, the beam injection and then we have the uh, routine 200 milliampere operations reached in March, in last March. And then the vacuum pressure steadily improved uh, with the uh, uh, beam current increased gradually. And then the beam lifetime it also was also improved uh, due to the vacuum uh, uh, vacuum uh, improve, improving. So at fifth, at fourteenth uh, March, uh, twenty twenty, the new EBS story ring achieves uh, USM parameters, which is five months ahead of the schedule. And then we reduce the time for several activities, 
like set up for USM shutdown activities, vacuum condition in, and delayed in the installation of the CRG sources, comp which completed in the August. And then we finished the five uh, 200 milliampere beam delivered for radiation certification despite uh, the stop. So then on the 25th, August 2020, uh, I, I would like to say it again, it's a, a milestone of the EBS and it's a first official USM shift starts on that day. And we have 28 beam lines take, take beam at that time uh, with a beam current of 200 milliampere and the horizontal emittance reached 150 picometer, which uh, was the uh, uh, lowest emittance in the world uh, in all the uh, synchronization machines, including 3GB and uh, low beam low uh, low beam energy uh, machines, and uh, the vertical emittance reached as small as 20 picometer at that time. So. It's the on-schedule beam delivery also shows a very advanced state of the new machine we had ever been built. The machine commissioning, uh, which gives us a very good result uh, finally in last year, and I here only show some uh, uh, main uh, milestone at the beginning of last March and uh, before we started the user uh, service mode, and also at the end of last year, we reached the, the total beam current of 200 milliampere for the uh, uniform uh, schedule and uh, 90 and 40 milliampere for some other timing mode and other uh, different feeding pattern with the MTBF, which means the mean time between uh, two failures uh, as high as 50 hours and the uptime of uh, beam uh, availability for users is uh, uh, larger than 97%. And the injection efficiency is reached, uh, is reached as high as 10, 80%. So uh, all these parameters are very good at the, at the uh, start of the uh, USM and uh, uh, we keep it uh, for the, the, the near future and will be improved soon. So we, uh, we also did a fruitful collaboration with the uh, beam lines uh, for the uh, uh, joint commissioning for, uh, with the machine. Uh, here I give some examples of the machine experiments with the beam line, uh, such as a cross check of electron and the photon beam posi positions on beam lines, uh, electron beam bumps when necessary, to get a better uh, light for the users for, uh, for, for the commissioning of the beam lines. And also we did the bunch cleaning, uh, which means the uh, suppression of various bunches in solid and the booster, uh, which uh, was collaborated with the uh, ID18 beam line to measure the high purity of the bunches, uh, which is uh, 10 to minus 10, uh, and then we did the reduction of the injection perturbation with the uh, collaboration of the beamline people as a planned validation with, uh, with all the beamlines. And also we planned the evaluation of benefits to users from setting up vertical emittance uh, from 20 picometer uh, down to uh, five picometer. And also the perspective of beamline experiment of course, uh, calibration of electron beam emittance measurements, uh, like through the X-ray geometrical measurements, coherent, coherence evaluation, etc. So here I show you some uh, user operation uh, uh, status. Uh, in last year, we have two runs for user operation, uh, which we, we uh, de delivered the beam with uh, uh, 200 milliamp here in 708 plus one single bunch, uh, which uh, reached to uh, four milliamp here with the injection uh, efficiency of 70%. And also we did the uniform mode uh, with 200 milliamp here. And uh, for the timing mode, uh, we reached the 150 milliamp here in 32 times 12 uh, bunches uh, in total. 
the, a little bit lower beam current means that we uh, have some uh, heating uh, of our ceramic ceramic chamber, which has uh, uh, which will be uh, over overcome uh, this year. And uh, here I show you some uh, real uh, uh, bunch distribution around the ring for these different uh, 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 feeding patterns. Uh, the first is uh, uh, seven or eight plus one uh, at two hundred milliampere, and then the the medium is the uh, uniform mode, and the last one is the uh, timing mode uh, uh, for thirty two times uh, twelve bunches, which is a hybrid. Uh, mode we delivered to users. So this is statistics for the uh, user operation uh, with a beam availability of about 96% uh, and with the MBTF of uh, about 45 hours. And you can see with uh, these two runs last year, we uh, only have uh, 33 failures of hardware and uh, including some uh, uh, human mistake. Then for uh, this year, uh, we have made a very detailed plan uh, for every week. And uh, the, the main uh, task of this year will be the operation for user service mode. And we will continue and optimization of the tuning and the performance of the new source with the new hardware in procurement uh, to cure the problem of uh, heat, heating in some uh, places. And also we will optimize the beam performance continually. And also the, uh, the, beam, the machine performance will be improved for uh, USM. And some uh, uh, beam lines from the bending magnets will start its user experiments in this year. And uh, you can see uh, we restarted the machine from the middle of January. And uh, in the first two weeks to the users, we also achieved a very good machine availability uh, as high as 99.8%. Uh, and we only had one trip of the beam interruption in two weeks, in the first two weeks. So it's really a good start for the uh, New Year's operation. And also in the coming future, we will have some uh, hardware uh, development uh, for, the, for the better operation of the machine. Uh, the prototype of this uh, ceramic chamber uh, uh, kicker uh, of the ceramic kicker chambers is in, in progress. And also the uh, new kicker power, power supply with four IGBTs is already uh, finished. And uh, we hope this will this uh, uh, improvement will be finished uh, at the end of this year. And also we are optimizing the perturbation the, to try to lower the perturbation of, at injection and to increase the injection efficiency as much as possible uh, in our uh, MB, MBT, MDT time. And uh, also with some hardware to be improved. And then we are uh, studying the force harmonic F cavity uh, at uh, the 1.41 gigahertz will have a longer uh, bunch length, and then we can have more, uh, more uh, higher beam uh, lifetime, and also we we can uh, have a better performance uh, for the future. Uh, so uh, finally, I would like to summarize uh, uh, the EBS uh, operation and the commissioning last year. Uh, all these uh, design parameters for the accelerator have been achieved. And uh, starting from the 25th August, EBS delivered the beams to users with beam performance better than expected. And a solid program to consolidate the machine performance and explore the beam performance improvements and the machine potential is still in progress. So I finally use these uh, uh, three lines to show you the, uh, the development of the uh, synchron light source machine, uh, like the first generation, no, the first uh, third generation light source in blue, and then the fourth generation uh, machine in, in, in red, 
and EBS was the best one among all these already finished uh, is the design and uh, and uh, construction machines and then the, some uh, other new machines are in progress in this uh, in this uh, uh, plain uh, blue line so uh, at, at this uh, for the time being at this present I think uh, EBS is uh, uh, quite a pioneer at 6 GV machine with a uh, uh, HMBA uh, lattice and it uh, also opened a new era for the synchron radiation science to the to the globe. So uh, finally, thanks again for your attention and thanks again for our uh, great team of ESI for the EBS construction and operation and, and the commissioning. Thank you. Thanks a lot for, for this presentation. Uh, 